Um, this is exercise 4.8, question 10, and it's a proof involving Pythagoras' theorem. In this question, we have to show that triangle PQR is isosceles, and we're given um, these lengths on the diagram, that um, one side's x, the other one's y, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 2xy. Now, we know for Pythagoras' theorem that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, meaning the squares of the two shorter sides is equal to the square on the longest side being the hypotenuse. So if we say, right, left-hand side of this being the squares of the two shorter sides would be x squared plus y squared, we can't um, do anything with that, so we'll just leave it. And the right-hand side here would be the hypotenuse squared, which is the square root of 2xy, all squared. Now, remembering the square root and the squared signs will cancel, so that equals 2xy. Since um, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side for Pythagoras' theorem, and it should apply because it's a right-angle triangle, therefore we can say that x squared plus y squared is equal to 2xy. Now we need to solve this equation and the best thing to do is to take the 2xy over to the left hand side. So we do that, x squared plus y squared minus 2xy equals 0. Now we have to realise that um, this is in the form of a perfect square. Now you can, you can um, sort of get this idea because you can see the x squared plus the y squared then you have this minus 2xy bit there. If we just remember what the perfect square expansions are, we know that a plus b all squared is a squared plus 2 times a times b, which is there, plus b squared. And if you've got a negative, um, if it's a minus b all squared, then the expansion is a squared, first term squared, minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Now we can see that this second line here, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, is identical to this um, expression here, a minus b all squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. It's actually the right hand side of it, where, a, where um, the a is replaced with an x and the b's are replaced with a y. I'm sorry for that interruption, just a phone call. So we've got, um, like I was saying, this x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is um, the same as this expression here where the a is replaced with x and the b is replaced with a y. Now, remember, this is the expansion of a minus b all squared gives that product there. Therefore, the factorization of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared would be a minus b all squared. So our factorization here will be x minus y all squared. Now, to have something squared being equal to zero, the, we need to get rid of this squared. So the opposite of squared is to square root both sides. So if we square root both sides, we will get x minus y equals. Now the square root of zero is zero. The other way you can look at this is, you can say, well, something squared equals zero the only thing that this x minus y can be would be 0. So x minus y equals 0. Therefore, taking the y over this minus y, adding, um, taking it over to the other side, you end up with x equals y. Now, if x equals y on the diagram, we know that pq equals rq, meaning that we have an isosceles triangle. Hence, we can say, therefore, triangle pqr is isosceles because um, rq is equal to pq.